What up, Doke Hunters? The chaos continues on the global side of the game with another leak. This is going to be one of those final times where we can really appreciate the stupidity of how global can be managed sometimes. So savor these moments. But what we've got here is a leak. In fact, a leak. They have Dokkan assets for Topo on the actual app. Like, I don't know what you want to call this, like uh, promotional material. It's not exactly promotional. Well, I guess it is. It's basically like showing a few images, kind of covering what Dokkan is, what's going to be doing and all that stuff. It showed this on the Android store and on the Apple store. Now, I don't know if this is common practice to do this sort of thing this early, but based on the, the the conversations online with this revelation, this isn't normal. So, yeah, this is one of those classic global moments. You're going to miss it when it's gone, because when we hit that unification, I don't think this is going to be the sort of thing that happens where we get surprised by global stupidity, as JP will just announce it earlier. But po -po, showing up here means that this is going to be the next Dokkan Festival dropping on global. Now, if we look at the sacred timeline, this is basically what we've expected. I've been saying this for a little while. Assuming we followed the usual blueprint, this Dokkan Festival would have been in the trap celebration in between the nine-year anniversary and worldwide download. I'm obviously recording this during the ninth anniversary. We are just about to enter into part three, so we're not done with the ninth anniversary, but we do know that this is coming relatively soon. If you look in the screenshot here, it even says event ends August 25th, which is right in line with what I had here as my projected date. This is from last year's date. On top of that, after Dokkan Awakening and meeting the conditions, Topo can be turned into God of Destruction mode with his active skill. Perform a multi-summon to recruit Elder Kais. So you will be getting Kais along with these summons. So this is further corroborated when you look at the stone sales in the current campaign for Global. August 11th slash August 12th are when the stone sales end for the nine-year anniversary. So once part three comes to an end, which is basically going to be in around two weeks or less, we will then jump into this celebration right here. Now with this announcement or leak, does this mean that we are going to be getting other things along with this? We don't know. If I were to make an educated guess, I'm going to say no, because why would Dokkan do the sensible thing? They would do the illogical thing, which is doing nothing, right? So the, the problem with that is that this celebration is now basically bare bones. And when I say bare bones, allow me to elaborate further. So what we're looking at here is the full list of things that we have left on global aside from part three. So assuming part three happens, which I will be doing a video for later on. After part three, we've got Popo's banner. We've got the special pose sub EZAs. Only one ultimate clash is left anniversary battle related ex missions i will elaborate on these things further in just a bit cell max banner and then of course the tanabata uh, celebration for jp which we call the thank you celebration i also forgot a couple of things right here weekend dokkan festival tickets cell max related ex missions one sbr one esbr that is all of the content that is left on global aside from the ninth anniversary leading into worldwide download are we going to get all of that content and the banners before worldwide download starts? No, they have said verbatim that well, not verbatim, but they have said that the worldwide download will be the point of unification for global and JP in terms of operating schedules moving forward. That means that from that point forward, every banner that drops on JP will drop on global at the same time. They also explicitly discuss the possible fate of limbo characters. If there are characters that have yet to drop on Global that have already dropped on JP, they then say, please give us time to work through it. Let me actually find it. As usual, the new characters will appear at the same time in the worldwide campaign. But the timing of their arrival will be the same as the Japanese version after it ends. I know I've, I've talked about this stuff before. I got to repeat it because this is a new, new thing. New people are watching. But the characters who are released before Unification are only available in the Japanese version... This is it. Please understand that to add them to the international version so that, you know, they're coming at you from a point of asking for forgiveness. Further adjustments may need to be made to the international version. They would not say this unless they knew that there was going to be still a few units in limbo. How many? Could it be just the Goku and the Jiren from the Tanabata celebration? Could it also be the LR Cell Max? All three probably make the most sense unless they decide to cram in 
sell Max either into the nine year anniversary in part three, part EX, like some people are hoping for, or they shove it into this Dokkan Festival celebration. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Toon, that's nonsense. You can't have a Dokkan Festival and a Legendary at the same time. Uh, have you met Dokkan? The second you assume, you lose. I assumed these clowns would give us the same format for part one and part two. I was wrong. They started the Dokkan Festival hybrid or uh, carnival hybrid format two years ago during the cooler Revive Goku celebration. The following year, they didn't do that. They will do things and then undo them so many times. So if you think a Dokkan Festival legendary dual summon is possible, your theory is just as valid as any other ridiculous theory out there. The theory that I do a face reveal when Popo arrives on global. That is a ridiculous theory, but that is just as likely as everything else. Maybe a little bit lower, but still. What I'm trying to say is no guess is ridiculous right now. You cannot predict Dokkan's next move, so it is totally within their wheelhouse to throw in Cell Max and have it just be UI and Jiren that are left to happen. Will they drop during the worldwide download? No. I feel like this is confirmation that they will not, because if they were going to drop it during worldwide download, then they would not be addressing it preemptively in this video. So worldwide download, I think, is solely going to be on the newer characters for both Global and JP. And at some point, Global will simply just have to get all of that content during that Tanabata celebration. Could it happen in its natural spot in the November, December block where we get thank you celebration, part two and holiday? Or will this happen maybe during New Year's for, for global New Year's Dokkan Festival and for global part two J, uh, carnival? And then we just jump right into the 10 year anniversary or they simply embed this into the 10 year anniversary and you're basically celebrating thank you and 10 year at the same time. Any one of those is a possibility. And then my horrible nightmare scenario is that they split up the set and they release UI Goku for the first time on global when it is returning for the first time on JP during Sanday, which is March, 2025. I don't want it to be that, but that is the nightmare scenario that I have in my head as a possibility as well. So that's pretty much all that we got right now. That's all that we can do in terms of speculating the, the, the banners release. I can't tell you anything more than that. Now let's actually go through the content itself. So I pulled up the various celebrations that we still haven't had on Global. The Topo celebration, there's only a couple of things left, like I said. The sub EZA, and then we've got the EX missions. Background music missions don't apply to Global. That is only for JP due to copyright stuff. Here are the EX missions. So this is the anniversary battle related content that I was talking about in my tweet. The reason why this could not have possibly happened before the nine year anniversary was because of this right here. Notice how it says, clear sixth anniversary of the challenge event, ninth anniversary, anniversary battle. The ninth anniversary part is basically the argument that breaks any logic of this dropping earlier. The reason for that is because the ninth anniversary battle is actually the eighth anniversary battle, but because we received the new year's update, they just simply gave the title graphic a facelift. It is now called the ninth anniversary battle because the ninth anniversary stages are here and it is not updated but it, it is updated on the on the miniature design. See this? It says ninth anniversary battle. You click on it, it says eighth anniversary battle. So until this eighth anniversary battle becomes the ninth, you can't possibly have that mission show up on global. So that's why all of these are not available yet, but they will drop either during part three or after. I'm assuming after, but it could happen earlier. Sure, that is possible. Background missions already talked about it. Easy A's, sub easy A's for special pose. EX missions, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, this is the Dokkan Festival banner for Topo. So here it is. I think a lot of people are going to be skipping this one. Although, you know what? It might be hard to skip because if you summon on the Gammas, you got the LR Gammas. This is a way to get the Gamma, the separate Gammas, which are also good units. They're great running buddies with the LR Gammas. Also, Int Android 1718, fantastic 200% lead for Universe 7. Universe Survival Saga is on the rise during this celebration. So this actually might, this might trap some of you. But I think most people will probably be able to skip just because Worldwide Download is so close afterwards. But then after that, I mean, that's it for the Topo Celebration and Clash. So honestly, that's probably enough for that Trap Celebration to be, to, to exist and still have quote unquote enough content, but it is probably going to be pretty boring. Maybe they throw in a Super Battle Road and an ESBR in there too. Why not? Then looking at the Goku Black Celebration, Global obviously had the Goku Black Celebration. 
We had the EX difficulty missions that were associated with it. We also got stage two for the domain, the hit domain event. We already got the Kefla stuff. Dokkan Festival weekend Dokkan Festival tickets have not dropped on Global. This happened on JP. I feel like Global should be getting this. The reason for that is because some of you may recall back in April, towards the end of April, our last weekend tickets were set to expire. And I made a video talking about how I think it's a good idea for you guys to wait until the very end, the final weekend before April 24th ish, because if they decide to throw some crazy last minute double rates, they would do it then. Dokkan has been proven to do the most unthinkable and unexpected thing. Like, I think it was four years ago, one random final week of weekend tickets, they turned into double rates. It's because of that that I always hold on to that theory. But because that weekend ticket expired in April and nothing has come back since, maybe they are waiting for this weekend ticket Dokkan Festival reboot thing to happen. Maybe Global gets this either during the trap celebration, maybe during Worldwide, or maybe during Tanabata or sometime later. I don't know. But this has to happen on Global. And that's about it for the Goku Black related content. And then the last thing would be Cell Max. So if we look at Cell Max, there are a few missions for Cell Max, the uh, EX missions, right? Let me actually find those. Where are the EX missions for Cell Max? Stage one, clear with every single type, super, every single type extreme, within three turns without using items, five turns without using items. It is stage one of Cell Max, so this is going to be far more manageable now than it was before. Before, it was very, very difficult. It was extremely, extremely difficult. Now I imagine part two, Cell Max Stage 2 is going to be that, so we don't need these extra difficulty missions. Which, by the way, Cell Max Stage 2 is coming during the ninth anniversary. So that pretty much covers everything else that is left. I don't think there's anything else. So I don't know what they're going to do. They could totally shuffle this up. So be prepared for the unexpected. Just continue to enjoy the nine year anniversary. Maybe they'd actually do something, you know, something productive and we get double the banners. Most of you may not be ready for that, but it will help us get closer and closer to unification. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like down below. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that I'm missing, any content that I didn't otherwise address. I am very tired. I'm recording this after another massive late night stream and uh, I'm pooped. So if I said any gibberish, let me know. And let me know your theories on what could potentially be coming up for Global. Do you still think there's something gonna be happening during part three, part EX? We still have to get the information regarding the unification during the ninth anniversary. So until we get that, can there really be anything more? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also be sure to subscribe for more no content of the future and click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you wanna see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again, stay tuned and I'll to Dokkan responsibly.